we're going to do a market update. So I'm going to do a dive to kind of a little bit of around the block, keep things real estate focused here. Um, so really, I just want to touch base on the, the, you know, the inflation numbers we talked about here. They came in today in the US. Um, this is kind of a technical way of looking at things, but um, the, the, the expectations in the marketplace were, um, you know, to see a 0.2% month over month change in, in, in inflation, a 0.4% change in uh, the food and energy and, and a year over year of 8.1%. So the actual came in at 8.2%, uh, which, you know, is, a, you know, is, 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 is not a good thing. Um, from a market point of view and from the Fed when you consider how much uh, inf uh, inflation fighting they've been doing with their interest rates. They've been doing an incredible amount of inflation fighting and yet inflation numbers are 8%, uh, 8.2% 8 year over year. Um, you know, the month prior was 8.1% year over year. Um, so the funny thing would be if... Uh, Biden came out and said, uh, oh, it's only been a 0.1% change in inflation. Uh, that would be snake oil salesman techniques of saying that the inflation rate has only gone up 0.1% when in fact, it's a whole other month of 8.2% um, year over year change. So it's, what does this mean for real estate? It means that the, the, the Fed pivot that everybody's looking for is not anytime. Uh, it's not going to come from uh, downward inflation pressures this month. So there's another Fed meeting. Oh, when is it, guys? Anyone know in the next Fed? It's coming this month. I think it's at the end of the month, 26, if I'm not mistaken. Something, something like, that. like that. Yeah. And then I think the Canadian Central Bank uh, policy rate is in November, I believe, the first week or something like that. Um, it's pretty close. But, you know, there's talk of 0.5%, 0.75%, even some rumblings of 1%. Like just, they're just going to crush. They're going to try to really do what they can to get this inflation down. Obviously it's not working very well um, yet. So we'll see how that transpires. Now there is a lot of stress in the bond and treasury markets. I won't get too deeply into that today, but it is getting pretty stressful out there. Um, getting into potential no bid ter it, no bid territory for treasuries, and that's going to be the biggest issue that the central banks have. Is like if there goes to a no bid situation, and the treasury market's dysfunctioning substantially. They that is their biggest one of their biggest concerns. It's considered the third mandate of the Fed, but it's it's like the shadow mandate. Like they don't really talk about it. But if that starts dysfunctioning, you can bet they're going to do something. So, you know, everyone's kind of waiting around for pet, Fed pivot. Now, um, the, I got this uh, text from a mortgage broker um, of ours uh, that we work with a lot. Um, and he mentioned to me that the rates on uh, the fixed rates and the, 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 sorry, the best rates you can get right now, um, I don't know if these are fixed or variables, but you're looking at almost 6% on rentals, 5.64% on owner-occupied um, bond market, Yields have gone up, mortgage rates go up, uh, fixed rates. So that, that's kind of, we got some more pressure uh, mm -hmm. on, on mortgages. So that is not a, uh, you know, it's not bringing any relief for, for financing. So, uh, you know, more, more financial, just, you know, let's call it like pressure, right? I mean, some, you know, it is what it is. It's going to cool. It's going to, it's not going to bring any heat to the marketplace anytime soon. The thing about Canadians is like, a good portion of Canadians like have real estate free and clear. And, you know, it's, it's a minority of buyers that have large, large mortgages and high, high, high debt. It's, it's an interesting landscape. We are nowhere near what a U.S. was in 08 or anything like that, where you had, you know, extremely high you know, uh, valuations based, you know, or mortgages based on the actual re valuations in the marketplace. We don't have that in Canada. We've got a much more resilient, like stock of owners 